All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update, and I called it. Uh, the Batman 2 has been delayed, and it's not a short delay. It is a long delay, and we're going to look at <laughs> what was originally talked about in regards to the Batman 2 and its release and what is actually happening. And, you know, if you're new to my channel, first of all, thank you for watching. But know that you are not coming to an unbiased source of information when it comes to DC. And obviously, I am a review channel, and I'm always going to give my commentary on everything that I talk about. And I do not hide my feelings in regards to Warner Brothers Discovery and James Gunn, Peter Safran, and David Zaslav. So if you're looking for sympathy on this channel, you are not going to get it. And... I am just absolutely disgusted with Warner Brothers at this stage. The Batman 2 was the only project that I was really excited for. And I'm not a huge fan of the first film, okay? I enjoy it, but to me, it is extremely flawed. But I was very much and am very much looking forward to The Penguin Show, which hopefully still gets released this year. And I'm looking forward to The Batman 2. But I'm telling you right now, James Gunn does not like to share the limelight with anybody. And he will take credit for stuff that isn't even his. It's who he is. It's who he's always been. And I find what Warner Brothers is doing to the fans is disgusting. And like I said, I've said in previous videos, I think they're looking for a whole new audience. They don't care about those of us who have grown up with DC. They're looking for a whole brand new audience, an audience that doesn't even exist. And let's take a look at what they said in regards to the Batman. This was a synopsis that I found on Google in regards to the Batman 2 and what, it, what the delays were. It says, The release of the Batman 2, starring Robert Pattinson, has been delayed and may not be released until late 2024 or early 2025. Hmm, it's way later than that, and we're going to see that here in a minute. According to multiple sources, the delay has been attributed to the rise in COVID-19 cases, which has put pressure on studios to either stay the course or rethink their plans. The first movie, The Batman, was released in theaters on March 4th, 2022, after being pushed twice, first from July 2021 to October and then to March of this year, before streaming on HBO Max 45 days later on April 19th. However, some fans have argued that holding out for a while longer has never been an issue for the fandom, and that the delay could make the Dark Knight trilogy even better. I do not agree with that, because you're going to see by the time this movie gets released, it will have almost been five years. This is nuts. So here is the official release date of The Batman Part 2. It is now going to release on October 2nd of 2026. I can't believe I'm going to be 50 freaking years old when the Batman 2 gets released. I just, to me, this is freaking asinine. Why in the world is it going to take two and a half more years to get this movie out there? There have been delays after delays. There was a writer strike. There was a sag after strike. There is no reason why this movie can't be prepped and ready to shoot now. I think we're going to talk about what this means, but let's take a look at an article in regards to this. So this is from The Collider. It says, the Batman sequel has been delayed. At least we'll have the Penguin. All right, so th this, is just, this is just crazy. So the synopsis on this, the big picture where they're starting to give, I, I do like how they start and how they've started to do bullet points on here. It says, the Batman 2 release has been delayed to October 2026, offering filmmakers more time to work on the story. <laughs> Meaning, James Gunn had notes. Fans look forward to the Penguin TV series fe featuring Colin Farrell set in Gotham's criminal world. The Reeves universe remains separate from the main DC franchise with a fresh start under James Gunn. It looks like Robert Pattinson is returning to the Batcave a little later, later than expected as The Hollywood Reporter has just revealed that the Batman Part 2 has been delayed to a whole new release date. Initially slated to debut next year, the upcoming superhero film is now expected to hit the big screen on October 2nd, 2026, two and a half years from now. The highly anticipated sequel was first announced following the critical and financial success of its predecessor for an October 2025 release date. However, since then, the industry faced a dual strike, which likely impacted the production of the, of the movie. 
but yet Superman Legacy or Superman is moving forward full force, getting the release next year. There's no reason why they couldn't have done this, especially when you had willing participants like Reeves and Pattinson and everybody wanting to come back. They're doing the Penguin Show, which has been delayed. Like, there is, there is no reason why this couldn't be ready, guys. I don't believe this for a second. While the delay of the film may come as a disappointment to some, Fans eagerly waiting to return the streets of Gotham. It is worth noting that the film could benefit from this by offering the filmmakers more time to work on the story. There is no word yet on any additional details on the upcoming project, but the film will serve as a follow-up to the 2022 film directed by Matt Reeves, which rebooted the Batman universe. Despite the delay, fans don't have to wait long before returning to the franchise, as there is still plenty in store for the growing cinematic universe. One of Batman's most iconic villains will be receiving his own television spin-off series titled The Penguin. The series will feature Colin Farrell's return to the role and will take place after the events of The Batman, in which audiences will explore his rise to power in the criminal world of Gotham. No release date for the series has been set yet, but fans should expect the show to debut sometime later this year on Max. I'm, I'm putting out the bets now. I'm betting that this will not be released until sometime in 2020, 2025. I'm, I'm just telling you. And it, it, they go on to talk about how the Batman 2 will be separate franchise from the main DC storyline, of course. And I think this is why it's being pushed off. Gunn wants the spotlight. So how many people are surprised by this? I certainly am not. I'm, I'm still surprised it has a rele release date, but anything can happen. And there are several reasons why I think this is being pushed off. Number one, it's because James Gunn is in charge, and it's all about James Gunn. And I will have another update, hopefully later today, or tomorrow, we're going to talk about some comments and some stuff that, that James Gunn has talked about on threads that I just, again, it's all about him, guys. It's all about James Gunn. And it's it, that's part of it has to do with the limelight. They don't want anything to interfere with Superman Legacy coming out or Superman coming out and his whole new universe taking off. So I guarantee you we're going to see Creature Commandos. We're going to see Superman. We're going to see... Uh, Peacemaker Season 2, and we're going to end up seeing Waller before we ever see the Batman 2. Everything is focused on James Gunn right now. And it also has to do with this, this possible sale of Warner Brothers, which is still slated, and the industry is talking about it happening in April. And so this is, by, this is not a surprise to me. I, I am surprised it's still moving forward. I was expecting them to come out and say it was canceled. But two and a half years... Two and a half freaking years before from now, before we get to see the Batman 2, and it's already been two years. We're gonna have to wait. We're gonna, it's gonna be almost a five-year gap, very close to a five-year gap between the first movie and the second movie, and everybody was ready for it. Everybody was ready for the second movie. There is no reason, none whatsoever, why they could not have it out before now, except one variable: James Gunn. James Gunn is in charge, and make no mistake, all eyes are on that guy. All right, guys, there's my update. I hope to have another one later today. I do appreciate the support. If you haven't already, like the video, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as I have new videos go up.